Hello and welcome to the ArcCLS Introduction to Seismic Spectral Bluing. In this video, we will briefly outline the benefits of using our Patrol plugin to enhance your seismic data. Seismic Spectral Bluing is a software that shapes the average seismic spectrum to the observed Earth's reflection coefficient spectrum found in the well data. During the processing of seismic data, the amplitudes are often whitened, so deriving a bluing operator from well logs and convolving it with the seismic data delivers a seismic cube with enhanced high frequency content and hence blued. To access seismic spectral bluing go to geophysics in the process pane and then double click on seismic spectral bluing. This will launch the SSB Petrel dialog window. Then we press create operator to launch the seismic spectral bluing analysis tool. From this window, a full and comprehensive SSB study can be driven. To begin, the input data must be selected. To do this, we open the Input Data window. The first tab in this window is the Select Input Seismic, in which the user can select a seismic cube from a Petrel survey or load a SegWi file. After selecting the seismic data, 40 random traces can be selected to generate the seismic average amplitude spectrum. Select a time gate from between 500 and 1000 milliseconds over our interval of interest. The second tab is the input well logs tab, from where logs can be loaded from the database or from an ASCII file if the log is not in the well folder. After loading, well logs can be selected and the time gate should match the seismic interval. In the Design Operator Control window, there are parameters that help improve spectral bluing operator creation. The Smoothing Operator Length Control smooths the average spectrum curve from the seismic traces, represented by the black line on the seismic mean chart. The Fit Well Log Curves allows you to improve the fitting against your average well log spectrum. You can adjust the length of the operator. And finally, the Design Operator Low and High Cut allows you to manipulate the amplitude spectrum. As you can see, any change made to these parameters can instantly be visualized on the chart window. The Seismic View window shows in real time the convolution between the SSB operator and the Seismic, providing full quality control within the application. The original seismic overlays the convolved output for an easy comparison. Any changes made to the bluing operator parameters automatically updates the convolved output. Once finished with the design of the bluing operator, this must be saved before exiting the application. It's also possible to save into a file all the parameters and settings used in the current session, something very helpful and time-saving in case you want to come back and make changes. After saving the operator and closing the application, the selected seismic data and the just created SSB operator will appear in the SSB main window. Now we can give a name to the output cube and press OK to proceed with the convolution between the input seismic and the bluing operator. We can display the output in an interpretation window and compare that to the original data. As you can see, the blue data is sharper than the original and the continuity of the reflectors has been improved, meaning that clearer interpretations can be achieved. Thank you for watching. For more information on the many other features of seismic spectral bluing or information on any of our other products, please email us or check out our website.